Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh-huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. Hello, 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 guys. This is Christy. I am subbing for Rose today. She is uh, out sick, unfortunately, but I'm looking forward to saying hi to you guys. I normally do the Wednesday lunch hour at noon Pacific Standard Time. I want to say hey, hey, one Eagle Rider. Hey, Eagle Rider. There you go. And Captain Fandom Nerd, hello. I don't know if you are on the same person. I know the one Eagle Rider and Eagle Rider is definitely. So, want to see how you guys are doing uh it's a nice saturday well friday i know i i kind of am like been sleeping weird too so it's been kind of crazy but i want to go and i'll drop my link here and i do the lunch hour on wednesdays but i'm also subbing for her oh excuse me i had a nice little piece of chicken so it was great so i'm gonna go start drawing and feel free to come by and say hi and everything and we'll be talking and doing all the things which is good oh so, how are you guys doing? It's going to be the weekend. I'm excited about that stuff too, isn't it? So, right now I'm kind of drawing Demon Bitch at the moment. And, uh, yeah. Hey, Jedi Bill, what's up? So, how's everybody doing on this lovely, lovely day? Okay. Jedi Bill. Jedi Bill, how's it going? You guys excited for your weekend? So... I'm just going to draw some demon bitch. If you guys aren't familiar with my character, I draw a low-level demon from the 13th pit of hell where people draw their dog shit and gum wrappers. And she wants to bring the second coming of again, but the first one never happened because she is stupid. She's based on girls I really don't like. So there you go. So yeah, it's been kind of a, been kind of a quiet day today. You know, got some work done. Got that taken care of. But it's been a busy week, I'll tell you that. And sometimes I gotta keep this guy. I'm just seeing right here. I also like to look back at the piece of artwork that I have. So that that's going on. Yeah, but anyway, so I hope everybody's doing well. Just drawing some demon bitch. So Ego Rider will be back uh next week. So but I'm just uh stepping in for her. And talking to you lovely, lovely people because she knows how much you'll go miss her. Yeah, go ahead and sub on my channel. You have my channel as well. I'm over on the Madness Network as well. Wednesday, noon, till 2 Pacific Standard Time. I'm getting like, yep, thank you, Pops. Yeah, Pops is kind of under the weather himself. It's like seems like a lot of people are getting under the weather. Luckily for me, I have not been. So I'm very grateful for that. 
don't want to go delete this. So yeah, I'm actually com coming out with a new kids book or kids version of Demon Bitch. It's Demon B, basically. So you cannot say bitch, but there you go. Hey, Demon Bitch in these drawings look like they, she looks like somebody I would know. But then, you know, it's like, ew. It'll be somebody that you know anyway. <clears throat> so let's see here. Yeah, I go to sub to me. Yes, please. I like the subs and everywhere. And this is annoying because this turned to something else. It's very annoying. Anyway, ugh. I hope everybody's doing okay. It's it kind of feels weird. It doesn't feel like it's the weekend. It's like it's her with her tape or her X's. So sub to me. Yes, please. I could use the subs. The sponsorship. So yeah. So just drawing right now there. But thank you for coming out here. Let me see who else is out here as well. If you're wondering what this is, it is me drawing a kid's book. Well, it's a demon bitch version of a kid's book. So I don't know if that's appropriate for children, but there you go. I'm also watching Bloodborne on the side as well. So yeah, but it's good to see you guys are here. If you're interested in UFL cult, I have Amazon.com. DIY Radio Telescope. Hey, Wayne, how's it going? Too bad I missed you this CromCon, but I heard that you guys got it going on. So that's good. How's it been for you, Wayne? Yeah, I wrote about the mob. In like places like Milwaukee. Now things are people are like going, Oh, I wonder how you could have the mob in Milwaukee, but they actually did that to kind of keep attention away because you know, New York City and all those other areas, it's kind of like little two things a little too conspicuous, but cold five there. Oh yeah, I heard it was like it's been very cold everywhere else. Luckily California is starting to warm up. Yeah, I know. People are like, Oh, you're you're going and doing all this stuff like in California and everything. I'm like, Yeah, I know. Well, we all have our own crosses to bear. Yeah. Yeah, too bad I didn't get to talk to you. You seem like you had a really cool concept going on. So hopefully it will be soon. The mob works best. In, well, yeah, that's the point. You know, mob does work best underground. It really does. That is why they do what they do. So let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look right here. So it's like that. Yeah, the mob does work best underground. You know how it is. Let's see. Yes, note John Gotti. John Guy is an interesting person. That's all I got to say. Okay. Going to be here. So. so there you go. Doing a little bit of demon bitch there, right? Yeah, and this clip studio paint right here. So what's up to everybody? Yeah, no, no, John Gotti. Yes, definitely John Gotti. So yeah, John Gotti. It's interesting. He like lived for a while. He died in prison, and I know they had growing up Gotti, but I kind of wonder what happened to the kids and everything after that show. I did actually watch the show a bit. It wasn't too bad. There was one very interesting show, to say the least. I am in awe. What are you in awe about, sir? My drawing? 
That'd be an odd bet too, just because I sometimes don't know why I just draw disgusting things about it. Let's see what's that? Because I mean, I kind of want to do the the action things, but I'm not sure about that. But let's see, we're doing that. We, yes, yeah, I know. It's like kind of weird. Like when you actually draw stuff, it's sort of odd how that works out. So I do kind of like it. And I go ahead and do the other layer right here. I'll probably do the thing because what I like about Clip Studio Paint is that it has these renderings right here of what you can do. So I think that's pretty good. And that could, kind of puts in this effect right here, the manga effect. Of course, you can go and cut it to whatever you'd like. Nothing wrong with it, I think. Like, there's some effects that I think they do have kind of canned in manga. But that's actually not a bad thing, to be honest. And I'm not going to go... I'm going to keep the aspect ratio loose here because I'm working on a smaller sort of scale. I might actually go and make this bigger just because... There we go. And then what I'll do is that I'll cut it down. I'll have to rasterize it and cut it down. So it's just what you do. You still do the cut and paste. Like some people do tra traditional stuff. And that is true. But sometimes you have to do the cut and paste in the digital bit. I think it's easier to clean it up in comics and in books and publishing. So I think that's a good thing as well. I kind of like it that way. My grandkids draw well for seven and three. I'll have to take a look at your stuff, um, their stuff, Wayne. I'd love to see what they look like. It's kind of weird as a as um, a person that illustrates. You know, you can kind of see people's is um, advancements in when they're younger, or if they're not as high of a skill set, you can actually still see them progress, which is actually a very good thing. And I really like that as well. So yeah, grandkids. So how many do you have other than those two? Let's go ahead and look at this. I'm just looking at those two. Ooh. So my grandkids strong well. Where what state are you in? Are you in Wisconsin? I know you wrote about the mob in two different mis midwestern cities. So I'm just trying to remember which one. I think you're in Wisconsin, but I could be wrong. Six? Dang. You have been busy. Well, they have been busy, but still. Let's <sighs> make a quick, clear delineation. I also want to make a quick clear delineation right here. Because as much as I'd like this thing, you want to go and do that. Racine, Wisconsin. There's also La Crosse, Wisconsin that I hear about too. And sometimes I watch this thing called Code Blue Cam and they have really funny things about Code Blue Cam. And it's where they had this dude named Noah that they arrested on like drunken driving charges, which was hilarious too. They called him the T-Rex. Kids run from 45 to 30. Wow. That's great. 45 to 30. That's nice. Yeah, what'd you get? What'd you do this week also, Wayne? DWI is a big issue. Yeah, I could see that. I don't 
know if it's like a, it's I don't know if it's a big issue in California, but I know they're really draconian about it. Like you drive under the influence here, it's like 0 0.8. 0 0.08 now, 0 0.08 now. That's like having one beer and they get really mad about that. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Right. Yeah, writing is one of those things that you have to do. Ooh. Putting the cookbook to bed. The cookbook? Is that an actual cookbook or is that a term for somebody else? Yeah, I drew a lot and I'm I'm doing a venture a bent business venture. And uh, we've been working on that as well. I got to say, I'm mentally quite tired because also I'm planning another Kickstarter and Kickstarters, you know, they pl they take about a few months to prepare in advance. With everything else, it's like I'm dealing with a lot. It's kind of funny, actually. So, yeah, we're opening up Kumio Studios. I do horror tour studios, but we're opening up a new publishing house called Kumio Studios. And I'll be the president and my other fellow co-owner, Philip, he's the COO. So we're working out the structure. Oh, a cookbook for the mob. That's interesting. Is it actually going to be mob recipes? So what got you started in the mob, Wayne? You guys are spagotti, right? Spagotti. Is that really how they pronounce it? Or is it just like some, how somebody's writing it? It came out all weird. It says spaghetti. Spaghetti. I've never heard spaghetti be said that way. Ooh, spaghetti. Well, for a mob cookbook, right? Spaghetti. Well, I don't know. There's... Well, there's Gabo Ghoul, right? And then Rich gets mad about that. Gabo Ghoul. Yeah, we have a friend named Rich, and he's Italian. He's from Staten Island, I think. Yeah, Staten Island. And he, like, it, it's funny how we tease him. I think he has a good sense of humor about it all. But sometimes I think it's like he gets mad, though. <laughs> he's a dear guy, though. Rich, very talented artist, just to let you know. There we go. And I'm just inking the kid's book right here. I've always liked stuff like this. So, okay. Speak like all Italian-esque and everything. <sighs> Boy. Spogote. I just never heard spogote. I've heard spaghetti or pischetti. Watch it. Much like fucking rich was like, oh my god. And it was really funny. Spogo thing. Having black and white drawing done for the associate what you need to join the mob. Oh really? That's an interesting thing. I thought you had to go and whack someone. That's what that's what they usually do with a lot of gang violence in general. Maybe I join the mob easily for that. Drawing's done, right? This is how fast I work. It's kind of cool. And then I'm going to go do another one. What's this one? So we got this one. So Mr. F word, because he's such a bad word that every time he tries to say the F word, bad things happen but then he realizes how important his role in society is it's a great book it's very heartwarming drawing stone it's tongue-in-cheek oh there you go 
So it's like I'm operating at a pretty nice level of speed. For a while, I was so busy that I was like, oh, my brain, I needed to take care of that. tongue and cheek. Very much so. So I'm onion skinning this guy right here and formulating it. Oh, it literally hurts. It's tongue and cheek. It's like literally it'll blurt everything out. Something in cheek, right? I like how I'm doing this new expression of demon bitch right here. Somehow it seems actually very legitimate. Oh, it's 422. Yeah, it's been an exhausting week. <laughs> It's been a mentally exhausting week for a lot of people. It's not so much physical, just mentally, because everybody's going through some sort of thing or another than getting sick. But yeah, it's been a busy week. I've noticed at the end of this month, everybody's been busier in general. So, yeah. By the way, guys, come in and drop in anything in the comments and everything. That'll be good. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got incredible stuff. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. I've just been kind of sleepy myself. I know I'm talking about being sleepy and stuff. I am sleepy, though. Much nice weather come Saturday. Yeah, I think it'll actually, it's getting warmer here because it's less likely to get cold, but it still gets cold at night here. I just feel it. Much nice weather, yeah. This looks like a Tesla in a weird way. Let's see here. It's like creating books as much not as neat. And also, this is a kid's book. I'm kind of wanting to draw a little bit more messier than usual. Because I think, you know, kid kid books, like, it's nice. You can have these wonderful illustrations. But I think what's lovely about 
kids books is you get to play around like as a kid. So you get to do these scribbles and other marvelous things. So. I mean, if you guys know of it, and then I can move these a little bit here. So this will be better. So there we go. And then, hey, Eagle, what's up? Real, real Wade Nation Gaming Clubs. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm subbing for um, Eagle Rider right now. And here I've got spam here. You guys want to take a look at my cat? Spam is right here. Hey, baby. Yeah, he's a big orange fuck. Yeah, I my name is an eagle. I'm Christy. Got much stuff to do, but wanted to say hi. Well, hello. Yeah, I do lunch hour normally, but I'm subbing for her, so I wanted to go and grab her show on the show and everything. You know, help a person out. Help a girl out. Okay. Do de do. Let me take a look at the comments. Sorry, that switched around. I didn't get to see that. Wayne Clint, love the cat. Tell us, tell her hi for me. Sure. I think she's actually probably watching. She's just like, she just can't like go on camera because she's just feeling sick and ill. And they told her, oh no, you got to go and keep, take a rest. And I totally know how she feels. But yeah, love the cat. Yeah, thank you. That's Spam. He's my ginger boy. He is a little dumbass sometimes. He's like switching his tail back and forth. I don't think he's pleased that I call him a dumbass, but he acts like one. He's crawling up here. You know what he did, actually? I have to actually cover up the power the power button on my computer because what this numb nut did is that he jumped up on my computer and pressed the shut off button, which was very irritating. So this was during a meeting that I had to do, so I had to go back in and take care of it. So I covered up the power button so he can't do that. Right, you little disruptive little asshole? Yeah, I love him, but he's disruptive. There we go. 
That's my link right there. So I'm also moving these guys right here. So we got that one, and I'm looking at the next one I have to draw. And this is the sketch part because I've already drawn the lines for that. So it's like, so I have to go and like, go like, oh, that's great. Love the cat. Yeah, he's just sitting here looking at me all kind of mad, but then he looks at me mad anyway. play music in the background, but there's a lot of weird copyright strike rolls right there. So I gotta look at Mr. F word right here. Me, Mr. F word. Oh, I gotta use this. New comments. They don't scroll down. That's very annoying. What the fuck? Eagle knows Christy? Yeah. She knows me. Yeah, she asked me if I could be on the show to cover for her while she's sick. So, hello. Hi, Monkey Jeebus. So, Wait, I'm confused. I thought she, you know me from somewhere. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know everybody's usernames. That's awesome. I think I've seen you around before. Loot Crate. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Wait, where in Loot Crate are you there? That's crazy. I don't know about Monkey Jeebus. I probably know you, but I don't know your handle. So who are you? That's crazy. Because I used to work at Loot Crate back in the day before I got into comics and stuff. Just looking at these other things. Yeah, I didn't know you knew her. Where'd you know her from? I'm trying to see what's here.
It's monkey Jeebus. That's crazy. You sold me Comic Con tickets. Which one? Well, I, I connected you to Comic Con tickets, but which one was that? I don't know Comic. Uh, there's been a people that I've um, that I've talked to that were my guests at Comic Con. I think that's it. A while ago, like there are a lot of people I knew at Loot Crate. That's crazy though. That's funny that you know Rose. That's hilarious. I know of other people that had Comic Con tickets. So. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Oh, I see. So you know Isaac. Okay. No about Isaac. He was a guest of mine. I'm just also looking at Mother Brain and Bloodborne right there. Uh, I didn't know you knew her, though. That's funny. Where did you know her from? Were you, how did you get connected with her on the madness? Oh, Patricia, the Tyrannosaurus. Yeah, Patricia, she was interesting. I can't go into it publicly here, but yeah. The people were very interesting at Loot Crate. Let's see. It's Mr. F word. I'm going to go another one. See. That's funny that you know her. How did you know Eagle Rider? I'm just wondering. Yeah, but that I cannot disclose on that stuff. This is private stuff that we can't talk about. But yeah, I do I do remember some of the other people at Luke Crate and Isaac. And I was like, who? Yeah. Hey, Quentin, what's up, man? How are you? Demon chicken. Well, I did eat chicken. It was air fried and it was tasty. So I have to wash the dishes and stuff. Let's see. Yeah, right. It's sunset's coming. It alerts you. Sunset coming. There you go. Okay. I'm good, right? Very good.
Enjoy the weekend. We're addicted to weekends, right? Oh, I saw you did signings at Comic Bug. Yeah, you should have come by. Yeah, I was over at the Comic Bug uh, recently, about a few weeks ago. It was a pretty cool signing. It was very quiet, though. Yeah, I did. That's really good. Yeah, this is the president. The president. It's like even Mr. F word is so important that the president cannot even talk about him. Yeah, I did one over in Manhattan Beach in Culver City. Not in that order, but around that order. So yeah, it was a fun place. The comic bug is actually a really good, good comic store. And they have a lot of good things and they're very creator, creator supportive. So I like that the best. some stuff oh she ratted me out oh i didn't see that monkey ratted me out i sat in each other playing games on my phone oh yeah there was a lot of interesting people at that con at company let's see here i move this to the side So it's Mr. F word. He's very happy that he is significant now. So let's go ahead and see what else is there. Yeah, I did a lot of signings at Comic Bug. They've been really good. Mike got TDS and he was too little when he lied about EVS. Oh, I think um, if you're talking about that, Mike, I think he long severed his ties with them. Yeah, I, I think I heard about that incident. Yeah, I think that guy no longer has any affiliation with the comic bug at all. He was at one point, but they had a very public split. I'll be a monkey's bare ass uncle. Yeah, he opened there and still closed. Yeah, I remember being there. Star was all right. 
Hey, Bone, what's up? Hey, Geek Hero, how's it going? Man, it's picking up right now. Jeez. This is the first hour, it's kind of quiet, it looks like. So, hey, what's up? What are you guys doing this lovely night tonight? Sup, chats, right? It's going. I'm trying to get through work. My week has been a frozen hell. Literally, that's what I heard. Yeah, this is my stuff up here, too. So, yeah, this is my site right there. But, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, my work's been a frozen hell. I've just been cold, but it's just my work has been, my week has been, like, a lot of bureaucratic stuff. Some creative stuff, drawing. Drawing has been good right there, but, yeah. Yeah, keep, keep, people keep calling and I've been having to do their jobs too. That sucks, dude. I hate that. Yeah, that's kind of why I don't, I have my own company now because I'd rather work for myself rather than work for the, for other people because I got kind of tired, tired of that stupid corporate stuff. That sucks that you have to go and keep doing, having to do their jobs. here that sucks depends on the comic and all that i've heard stories Demon B, she's saying that how she doesn't have a home. There you go. William Shatner. Oh, he did, didn't he?
Captain Kirk, right? Captain Kirk. So how did you know Eagle Rider, monkey? You never answer that question. Captain Kirk. Oh, I see. Praise Jeebus, right? Here's demon bitch. Praise Jeebus, right? Wow, it's like really quiet. There we go. Q, right? I was out of the room for a few. How are you doing, brother? There you go, right?
Did someone say cute? What am I drawing? Oh, Bone, I'm drawing um, Demon B. Uh, basically, Demon B meets Mr. F word. I do a comic called Demon Bitch. And Demon Bitch is a low-level demon from the 13th pit of hell where people throw their dog shit in gum wrappers. And she wants to bring the second coming of arm again, but the first one never happened because she is stupid. So what ended up happening was is that she um, basically, I, they, I've gone to places and I've actually sold kid-friendly things. I've actually sold Demon Bitch, but I decided to do an actual family-friendly Demon Bitch. It's not explicit or pornographic material, It's but it's like risque. It talks about people I don't like and the crappy things they do and the shitty things they do. So I went ahead and did that. So I'm making a kid's book. So these are just the sketches right here. I'm just doing that. So yeah, it's demon bitch. And I'm kind of like messing with the perspective here right now. Again, these are sketches. So it's like kind of getting the proportion right. Hey, Bone. Hey, Monkey. Egg Lady. Bubba. There we go. The eye line is better. So yeah, it's doing that. It's for kids. So I actually made a demon bitch book for kids. As I said, it's not usually PG-13 and up, but people got it for their kids. So I decided to make a kid-friendly one. So there you go. There we go. And then I determine... What's the better sketch? Oh. Okay. Let's see here. Is is it time for Croncon 2023? What? Thought it was. I guess it is time. No, it says just Crom. It doesn't say Croncon. Is it time for you to draw Crom 2023? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm too tired right now. My brain is just scrambled. I've been we, dealing with a very heavy week. But maybe over the weekend, I'll probably draw we, something. We, we do have the 2021 and the 2022. So, you know, at some point this year, we got to have the 2023. Let tradition continue. Right. There you go. Ooh, oops. Bubba. There we go. Big lady, right? Ooh. So let me see. Ooh. Well, guys, it's 5 p.m. 
5 p.m. So I got to go and check on out. But you guys, thank you for joining. And I had a wonderful time. So I will go ahead and talk to you later. And you guys have a great day. And uh, Rose will be on next week. I wish her a speedy recovery. Tell her that you love her. And uh, you can check me out here. Subscribe to my channel. I do Wednesdays, uh, noon to two. So Pacific Standard Time. So I think that translates from two to four for you guys. So you guys, you have a great day. And uh, I'll see you then. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Take it away, Pops. No, I just said goodbye. <laughs> Go ahead, Pops, take it away. So. In a world where creatures of myth and legend exist, a covert task force is charged with keeping humanity safe from supernatural threats.
And when young Nancy Moon stumbles into the eternal battle between good and evil, she finds... <laughs> oh my god, will you shut up? What's happening? Agent Beckett here. Aren't you tired of stuff like that? Want something different? Roll the tape. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry about that. That's a song I'm writing for my ex. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Alrighty. Welcome to the world of the mythicals. We have it all. Monsters. Magic. Government agents. He's the strong silent type. This guy. Ugh, gross, dude. Get some kind of cream or something. Lots of 90s style action. Pew, pew, pew. And that strong female lead alluded to earlier. Mm-hmm. Not to mention a dashing field commander with a great sense of fashion. Look at those glasses. South River Studios presents The Mythicals, Issue 1. Buy it, if you dare. <laughs> Ugh. Will you can it already? How'd you get free? Now beat it before I lose my cool. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Like right now. Sign up today on Indiegogo. Hi, this is Tim TK, host of That Several Line Show on Tuesday. Join us at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, every Tuesday night as we discuss pop culture and the joys of making comics. Hi, I'm Dean Zachary, host of Silver Line's Wednesday Wham, where we go beyond politics, beyond calculation, and beyond the big two. Join us each and every Wednesday. Don't miss out. Hi, I'm Roland Mann, and I host Silver Line's Silver Sunday. Join me every Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we make mine Silver Line. Hey, my Dirk Manning here, the writer and creator of numerous comic books and graphic novels, including Nightmare World, Tales of Mystery, Way But Not Dead, uh, all kinds of stuff. And I am super excited for you because you are getting to watch right now, right this moment, out of all the things we're going to be doing, you're getting to enjoy and revel in the Madness Comic Network. And that is awesome. Thank you for being here. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we 